Well, today in Harrisburg, state health officials discuss screening and prevention of congenital syphilis. The disease happens when a pregnant person with syphilis passes the infection onto a baby during pregnancy. It can also cause miscarriages, premature births, low birth weight, and other complications. Joining us live to break down the urgent reminder from the state health officials is WENY Pennsylvania Capital correspondent Brendan Scanlon. Brendan, what can you tell us here? Hey there, Renata. Good evening. That's right. Certainly a very urgent reminder from state health officials here in the Commonwealth who say the number of babies born with congenital syphilis is at its highest level in Pennsylvania since 1990. There have been 39 total cases of congenital syphilis in the past 12 years, but so far in 2022, there have already been 12 cases congenital syphilis, which is passed to an infant from a pregnant individual with syphilis, can cause significant birth defects and other debilitating issues that can sometimes be lifelong. State health officials say there are many ways to prevent syphilis in the first place, but testing for it is the best way to prevent passing it to a baby. preventing syphilis in the first place, so making sure that uh, individuals are using latex condoms for uh, sexual intercourse, having one uh, monogamous partner, and also getting tested for syphilis. Because uh, syphilis can be treated and cured with antibiotics, but people need to know that they have syphilis, they need to get tested. And officials are reminding health care professionals about the importance of testing and screening their pregnant patients for syphilis. They recommend testing three times during the course of pregnancy, one at a prenatal visit, second in the third trimester, and then once again at delivery. Reporting live at the state capitol for WENY News, I'm Brendan Scanlon. Renata, back to you.